Why are you going to? Why do you want to know? I just want to know what time you'll be back and where you're going to. You want to know, huh? Okay. Well, I'm going to another woman's house. And I don't need to tell you when I'll come back. It's like, how long do you want to continue like this? When would you ever change? You have no right to ask me that question. You're married. Shut up your mouth. And so? So what if I'm married? My name is still Sly, Sylvester, is it? And you are still my dumb, ridiculous wife who I unfortunately ended up with. There is no love here. It's just paper. And here you are, carrying my surname all over the place like one. I am hurt by what he does. But I can't do anything because I love him. So, uh, where, where did you say you're going again? Would you like me to drop you or would you take a taxi? That's what you thought. I don't mind dropping you. I really don't mind.
Even if he's breaking me apart. It's like I won't give up on you. I will continue to endure everything. Touch me. I was only trying to help you. Damn it, V. How many times do I have to tell you this? Are you too stupid or too, too, too dumb to understand me? Hurting you. Hurting you. I hope you're happy now that you've destroyed my life, eh? What are you talking about? So stop that nonsense. Stop pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, V. It's like this is what our both parents agreed on. Again, stop pretending, okay? Because you could have you could have walked away from all of this at any point, but you chose not to. Sly, I won't let you disgrace my family. You can as well do it. You can walk out on the marriage. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 so I will become the bad person, right? No, no, V, your plan for me will not work. I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't know what you want me to say, Sly. The deed has already been done. Right. In that case, I need you to understand that I know that you are in love with me. You love me, V, and that's the only reason why the moment your parents suggested this marriage, you accepted to do it. But understand this. Don't expect anything from me. There is no love here. None. Okay? You may bear my surname, but you do not have my heart. Now wrap that around that smug mind of yours. 
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what is the matter with you? Eh? Every day you will see me, you will see me in Ramami Pass. See, you don't know me as if you know. Just like normal people in this office. No. You don't have been you. I know now. I need to have been you. I like, don't do anyhow. I don't know. Why? Hey, hey, hey. It's unladylike for you to be flirting with someone's husband. Hey, hey, please don't, don't, don't make, don't make a scene. So I'm the one crazy to sing here. Yeah? No, 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 no. Not in my office. Come on. Hey, what's this now? This is an office. What? Believe yourself. Hello, miss. Do you want me to accompany you? Mm. Wow. What a brave woman. I like girls like you. So interesting. I think we're also good in bed. What are you doing there? I asked you a question, woman. What were you doing there? Answer me! No. Hey, and I will hurt you the more if you do not tell me the truth of what you were doing there. You are flirting with a man over there, right? No, Sly. I was there all by myself. You have to believe me. Believe, be, <laughs> believe you. Do you expect me to believe you? You think I'm some kind of idiot? Don't you dare lie to me. Okay? I'm telling you the truth. No, 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 no. You are testing my patience, is what you're doing, not telling me the truth. 
Now listen to me very carefully without your small brain. Hmm? If I catch you with any man out there, I will kill both you and the man. You in particular, I will enjoy killing. You chose this life, V. Okay? That is my surname, my family's name that you are bearing. Don't do anything to spoil the name of my family. Do you understand me? I love you. Pardon! Slayer, I love you no matter what happens. This pain and panic is all part of love. I miss you so much, best friend. How is your life? Hmm. Babe, I should be asking you this question. How is your life, V? I'm fine. Do not lie to me, girlfriend. I know and I feel that you're not telling me the truth. Am I right? I'm fine. Okay, I, I get it. You don't want to say it, but... Always remember I'm here for you. And I'm back here in Nigeria. And I will see you soon, okay? I'm coming. Madam, get out of the way. Please, you are blocking us. Sure, sure, it's me. Can you get me some water? Sorry, Major. Don't mind that. Okay. So, what do you want? Hmm? Okay. I said I want to go for vacation in Dubai. <laughs> Just a vacation. Mm hmm. Because next week we'll come. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? I'm sorry. What you've done to my dress? It was an accident. An accident. I'm sorry. You're the maid, aren't you? So, how come you speak so fluently? And who says I'm a maid? I am his legal wife. the kind of woman Sly likes to keep. You watch your mouth, you slut! How dare you! How dare you! Hey, 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 hey! Don't you dare raise your hand on a guest I brought into this house again. Do you understand? Is it my fault? You have not started it! Also, don't ever use that kind of language in my presence again. Or else I'll pick up from where she left off.
Jiu-Jitsu. Go! Look at you. Uh-uh. <laughs> you. Is it not too obvious what you did to me? Uh-uh. Tina, you know you've been out of the country for too long. Hmm. But, um, what is wrong with you? Are you sure you are okay? Are you fine? I'm fine. Why do you ask? You are not fine. You need to check the mirror. You need to see yourself. I mean, this is not the V I used to know. You look like trash. Babe. What are you doing to yourself? I'm fine. You're not? I'm fine. What have you been busy with that you do not have time for yourself? Huh? See, I was so much in a hurry that I had to go. You know I missed you. Oh, don't, do not give me that. Don't give me that. Serious. I'm serious. So, hey. tell me. Nothing. You've been busy with what? Taking care of an insensitive husband? Hmm? Babe. You think I've not heard? I mean, hey. I've heard a lot. You need to do better. Go. You should take care of yourself. Hmm? Darling. Waiter. Are you sure you are fine? I'm not. You. <laughs> I missed you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Dinner, your favorite food. <clears throat> what time did you get home? Around 5.30 p.m. Where did you go? I went to see Tina. Just stop. Okay? You and I know that Tina is not back in this country. Stop using your friends to hide your affairs. What are you talking about? V, I warned you. I have warned you repeatedly to not let me catch you in your affairs. I thought I told you that Tina is in the country. You, you can actually call her to confirm. Where did you go? Please stop this, your accusation, please. And just, just admit it, V. Admit that you went to see some man to go and... Do they do? You are having an affair, right? You did it, didn't you? To do what? You slept with another man. Sly? Yes. How, how can you even think that I would sleep with another man? Tell me something. You and I have been married for what? About a year now? And we've not been physically intimate. How about we rectify that now? Hmm? Since you're not doing anything. I am not a slut like those women you bring to this house. Slightly, please! You are my wife, are you not? And part of your duties as a wife is to take care of all your husband's needs. Get up. Slave, 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 slave. Slave! Come. I've told you, V, you will not have any peace in this house, in this marriage.
You are a very abnormal husband. I mean, what kind of a man would make his marriage a living hell just to punish his wife? That's strange. And it baffles me how you find it difficult to see how beautiful and sexy your wife looks. If you were both not married right now, I'll probably be dating her already. Terry, please stop messing around, okay? Come on, come on, bro. I was, I was only joking. And by the way, why, why were you... You just sounded protective now over a woman you claim not to want in your life. Huh? Look, bro. It is honorable for you to let this woman go. I mean, let her go and stop it. Hurting her consistently. You know, I, I, I don't know why you're blind to the fact that you have a very beautiful woman. I mean, every woman's dreams. She's caring. She's kind. She's, she's industrious. She's everything a man wants in a woman. Well, better watch it, man. Watch it. I mean, for she finds another man who loves her better, and then, boom, she's gone. Because I don't know why you, you derive so much pleasure in hating your wife. I do not know. I don't hate her, Eric. I despise the loss of my freedom that this marriage has caused. And honestly, between you and I, if there was any way, I would... I'll give both her and the marriage up, honestly, to get my freedom back. Hmm. Sly, I don't know what to say, but I feel really sorry for you, you know? But one day, just one day, picking with Mama the sell Shaku will wear a white shirt and he'll not go stain. You understand? One day you're going to be eating these words you're telling me right now. These words you're saying. And your maltreatments against her will come to an end. And you are going to suffer the consequences of your actions. Oh, you, you, you feel it's something you can just wave out like that. This woman needs your love. She deserves to be taken care of. Uh, I, I, I don't know how we got related. You, 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 you have, I don't know. Honey, um, I want to ask you something. What is it? Are you going out? I mean, are you going out today? Why do you want to know? Anyway, um, I'm going for a meeting. Once I'm, once I'm done with the meeting, I come straight back home. I'm making dinner. You can as well eat when you come back. Hello, Eric. Hello, V. I, I'm on my way to Guardian's restaurant. Can we meet? Okay, I'll be there. I'm on my way. All right, then. Bye bye. I called you out here to ask you a very sensitive question. When are you going to give up? Are you planning on increasing the debt rate of domestic violence? Fine. 
Sly is my cousin. And you are my very close friend. Look, I'm tired of tolerating him maltreat you constantly. I'm tired. I can no longer bear it. But then, on a second thought, you are in a position to stop him. And then I ask again. I ask again, V. Why do you continue to endure a toxic marriage even when your life is on the line? Eric, I don't know. I honestly don't know. The painful part is I just can't leave him. Look, um, you, you just can't leave him. Like, can you hear yourself? You're going to continue to hurt. You put your life on the line because you love him. Come on, V. Love is not always enough. And right now, your love is not enough for you to stay. You, you, take a good look at yourself, V. You're a shadow of yourself. Huh? Yeah. I love him so much that even if he hurts me, I won't leave him. I can't. You're going to continue to hurt because you love someone. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to process it. I'm trying to understand you. You're going to put your life on the line because you love a man. Fine. They say, Pains come with loving someone sometimes. But V, you've got, you, you, you've got to know that everything has got its elastic limit. It's elastic limit, V. And you're supposed to run away. Like, you should save yourself. But if you're going to continue to risk your life, I can only hope and pray that it's worth it at the end of the day. I want to take a break. I want to stop this this pain, but Eric, I don't know how to. I don't know. V. That is because you forget to love yourself first. You come on. Give me your hand. You have to make deliberate effort deliberate effort to love yourself first but you, you you forget to love yourself in the process of loving him and there's something I call the first aid kind of love it's the kind of love that keeps you going while you wait for someone else to love you B you have to make deliberate efforts to love yourself first. Oh, look at you. When was the last time you had a genuine smile? I'm sure, I'm sure you cannot remember. You have to, you have to save yourself before it's too late. You have to, okay? Because this is a man who's not afraid to use you. Yes. He's not afraid. You cannot continue to risk your life. If you continue to pretend that you're happy in this, in, in this toxic marriage, you're going to kill yourself. Oh, stop crying. Come on. Stop crying. You look, these tears are not good on your beautiful face. Okay? Look, it is not my intention to hurt you with my words. But I am your friend. It's in my position to tell you the truth, the bitter truth. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Me? Me? V, why, why aren't you answering me? 
If you're drunk again. Easy, easy. Uh. Step, step. Easy. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Oh no. Hello, Eric. Eric, is where are you? V, uh, are you crying? I'm at the hotel. I, I'll tell you everything when you get here. What happened to you? You don't sound okay. Where are you at? I'm sending you the address right now. going to make sure I deal with him even if he takes the last drop of my blood. I don't care if he's my cousin. Eric! Eric, what are you going to? Look, V, I am going to make sure that he pays. The guy has done too many bad things to you. And I cannot continue, cannot continue to tolerate his madness. And for this last one that he has done, for this very last, I'm going to make sure he pays. I won't let you do that. What? You, you can't do that. Sly is still my husband and I love him. That is bullshit, V. That is absolute nonsense. What are you talking about? Do you know the gravity of what he has just done to you? Do you? Come on, V, it's going to take a miracle for you to recover from this trauma. God. V, I don't understand. Do you think I have to, like, like just, just, just look at me. If I am feeling this way, 
Have you thought of what it will be like by the time you let your father know about this? Yes. Do you think that I have to be a biological brother before I, before I can feel your pains like this? Do you? understand that I'm like this because I care about you. I'm, I'm sorry about everything, okay? Come in. Ah, Eric. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. So good to see you alive. I mean, you look really <laughs> better than the last time. So how are you? I'm okay. I'm fine. You beaten some? Yes, I have. Well. By this time tomorrow, you'll be on your way to the UK. B. You're thinking too deeply, right? Eric is nothing. I'm just thinking about how I survived all of this. I guess let's get rest of us. Eric, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I mean, I don't know what I would have done if you didn't support me. No one. And thank you too. Thank you for Choosing to save yourself first. <laughs> Everything will definitely be fine, all right? Hello, Eric. I, I can't find my wife. Do you know where she is? I'm sorry, I don't. She packed up all her things and left. Oh, seriously? Well, it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, that's a big deal. That's what you've always wanted. Remember you said that? I mean, yes, yes, I, I said that, but... But what? You know what, never mind. Who is it? Who is it? Hey. 
Sylvester. What do you want? Sir, I, uh, I, came, I came to see V. She's not here. Sir, I would really, really love to speak with her. Why? After all that he did to her, she told me everything. Sir, I, that, that is part of why I'm here. I'm trying to fix things, okay? I'm trying to rebuild our relationship if possible. That's, that's what this is about. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Because she's not here. I've sent her abroad. What? what? Yes. Yes, she's gone for good. So, please, leave my house and don't come back. Yes, sir. Good. Please turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Oh yeah, that's my daughter. Yeah. And where? And where's my grandson? Oh, boy, boy. You're such a big boy now. Hmm? Get five. Yeah. 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 Ha <laughs> <laughs> mm ha. -hmm. Look great for anybody. You see how you're looking so young. I have to stay on top of my game, you know. <laughs> Since after your mommy died, I have to. Yeah. Are you looking? <laughs> That's really relevant. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, Tina. Ah, <laughs> come here, my dear. Come here, my dear. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, little, little boy. Take five. Take five. Yeah, he's a big boy now. What have you been giving him? Oh, my God. This is Nigeria, okay? Welcome to Nigeria, okay? It's your country. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, Baby girl, I am very happy you came back. Thank you, Daddy. I'm also happy to be home. <laughs> so, uh, you're looking good. And that is so... Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, when are you coming to take over the family business? No, no, no. no. Dad, no. I want to focus on my event planning job. Really? Yes. I was hoping that uh, you come and take over this uh, uh, business from me. I'm not getting any younger. And your brother is no, is no longer. Not a time will tell. But for now, I want to fit for my event planning. All right. Take your time. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Hello?
with his serious V's back. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you for reaching out. Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Hmm? How did I get here? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Tell me how I got here or I'll get you arrested. You were drunk. Okay, I was concerned for your safety, so I, I brought you home to sleep. How did you know I was drunk? How did you even know I was back to the country? Wait. Are you stalking me? No. no. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, eh? Please, I'm so sorry. How dare you? It's like you know I can actually sue you. I, I know. I know. That's why I'm apologizing, V. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, eh? Please. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Never again. Even in my point of death, come close to me. Do you understand? V. Good morning. Where have you been? I went to see a friend. And you refused to pick my calls? I am really sorry. I, I didn't notice the calls. Come back here. You left this house since yesterday. Just coming back. And you pretend not to see your son? Dad, please, I'm so tired. I, I need to rest.
you know what is it? Eh? Why does she hate me this much? She does not want me in her life again. What did I do wrong? Look, eh? your mommy loves you. Very, very much. It's just that she's passing through a whole lot now. And I want you to be a man. Hmm? See, like she told me to get away from her. Mother's don't do that to that child. And she also said when she hates me for dancing. No, she doesn't hate you, okay? That buy is here for you, alright? Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Now you go and do your homework, okay? Okay. I take Junior to go and do his homework. Junior. Be a great man, okay? Okay. Like your grandpa. Careful. Come on, baby girl. Stop doing this. You're, you're creating a vacuum between you and your son. Eh? Stop pushing this boy away. You're creating a vacuum in his heart. He reminds me so much of his father. He is a replica of Sylvester. But that does not mean you should start hating him. Treating him, treating him the way you are treating him. That does not mean stop. Transferring aggression from the father to the son. Which mother does that? Stop it, my dear. Huh? Stop it. Sylvester, you know I'm not in the mood for this game. Why did you call me out and what do you want? I just... I want to talk. Then start talking. I don't have all day. Okay. Well, let me start by apologizing for everything I said to you about uh, V and I this whole time. I truly am sorry. Like... Did you just speak or something else spoke through you? No, 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 no. Are you sure you're the one I'm talking to or my eyes are deceiving me? Sincerely, bro, I, I really am sorry, no bits. By the way, where, where's this apology coming from and why? It's coming from a changed man, a man who, a repented man who's trying to win back his family. Wow. And you think it's that easy? A repented man who's trying to win back his family. You think it's that easy after your negligence? After, after refusing to acknowledge the boy and after everything, after terming you, the, 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 your wife unwanted? Bro, listen, I'll do anything to get them back, to be honest. It's not going to be that easy after everything you did to her. You raped her and got her pregnant. Wait, 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 wait. What, what did you just say? I said nothing. No, 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 no. Bro, no, no. Don't do that. You not my guy, okay? You are, we be blood. You not fit do me like that. What is going on? Well, I don't think it makes much difference if you know. Right now. Okay, fine. She... She got pregnant after you raped her. The boy she came with was the product of that pregnancy. Look, I... You, you, you really messed up, bro. You, you messed up. Well, I, I, I don't know what to make out of all of this, but I really... I don't know how you're going to eat your cake and have it. I really don't know.
aqui. Sai. What is it? Why are you following me? You want to go through this? No, please, no, no, please, don't. Please. I thought I told you to stop following me. Well, technically, I'm not here on personal business. I'm, I'm here for a professional meeting. I hear you. You're an event planner these days. You heard what? Okay. Well, I would, I would love for you to plan my event. I'm, I'm getting married. You see. Wow. Congratulations. But I'm not interested. I mean, you can use any other event planner. There are so many out there. Okay. Well, um. I see I'm playing hard to get. I, I promise that I'll pay you very, very well. You don't understand. I said I am not interested. Get that into your head. No, listen, Sly. The next time you follow me about, I'm going to make sure that I call a large mob just for you. Okay, excuse me. Mm. I'm so, so sorry. Okay. I'm sorry for coming late. Sorry. Thank you for understanding. Okay, so let's go straight to it. What kind of event are we looking at? I'm not directly looking for it, you know. I was paid to bring you here. I don't understand. How? Who? Hi. What is this? Sorry. Huh? Calm down, Kate. There is no event. I just have to Talk to Then you had to lie just to lure me here? Sorry, calm down. I need your help, please. You need my help for what exactly? I need, I need to talk to you. About what? Anyway, uh, how is he? How is who? Our son. How dare you? Sly, how dare you? Now listen to me and listen to me. Not in this life or in the next will you have access to my son. I'm coming. I'm coming. What are you doing here? I came to see you. How dare you? What gave you the guts that you could show your repulsive face in my father's house? Please now, calm down. Okay? I'm really, really sorry for everything. I just came to apologize. You know, I took to beg you and, and I regret my actions. I'm so really sorry. So you had the phone trick to show your face in my house after what you have done and turned my daughter into? Sir, that's exactly why I'm here. I just, I wanted to apologize to her and, you know, show my, my remorse uh, and see uh, whether I, there's anything I can do to fix our relationship with someone. Okay. So, you want a second chance? Yes. yes. No problem. Just give me a few minutes. Thank you, Ed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Where is he? He, 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 he has gone. He has gone. Then why he has go? Why? I will stop him. Oh, oh, what? Good day, sir. Who are you? I am Barrister Gideon, representing your wife. Here is a court letter. Please, I want you to sign them.
What are you doing, sir? Barrister, you are not blind. I'm very sure that you can see what exactly it is that I'm doing. B is my wife. I married her and I am not divorcing her. Okay? As for you, your jurisdiction does not involve banging or breaking down my door because you're representing somebody. Sir. I'm sorry, uh, he objected the divorce papers and tore them into pieces. You see, at this point, we need to take this case seriously. He broke the law. And I believe there's a sanction issued in such regards. Good. Whichever way you have to effect it, effect it. All right, that sir. guy must sign that divorce paper. Where is that? It's okay. Don't worry, I would handle everything myself. And how are you going to do that? Allow the barrister to handle it now. Or do you have something else that we don't know? Bro, look, I'm begging you. Okay, I, I, I need you now more than ever, more than ever. So V brought um, a, she brought divorce papers to the house. I, I refuse to sign them because I can't afford to lose my family. I can't. I'm willing to do anything. Please, okay? Eric, help me. So how exactly do you want me to come in? You know V listens to you. You're one person she listens to. So please, I need you to step in and speak to her. Okay, help me beg her. I can't, I can't afford to lose her now. I'm willing to do anything, anything to get my family back together. Please. Okay? Wow. You know what? I'm not going to do this because you're my brother. I'm going to do it because for the very first time in my life, I am seeing honesty and remorse in you. Wow, I'll do it. Thanks, man. Yeah. So. Yeah. The. I can never imagine or believe that I am here asking you to give my cousin a second chance. You know, I was the one who encouraged you to save yourself. I was the one who encouraged you to leave, but now it feels like I'm here asking you to go back to a toxic marriage. But the thing is, I have never seen Sly so pained, so remorseful, and so changed all my life. You know, if, if, if you do not want to forgive him, it's fine, okay? I wouldn't want to force you into doing anything against your will, okay? But I must save you. I, I, I must tell you. What I saw back there was a different slide. You know, I, I, I saw some changes and I feel Sly is just willing to make amends. Okay? So if you really can find it in a, in a way, like find a place in your heart to give him a second chance, I think I think it would be a good idea. Please.
that I want to go back to him. Go back to who? I want to go back to my husband. Are you out of your mind? Something is not right here. Dad. And anyway, you are grown up. Oh? You can make decisions for yourself. Hmm? And you rest assured, I will stand by you. Okay? If you want to go back? I want to go back to my husband because I believe he has changed. And he's going to treat Junior and I better. All right. What? V, what is this I'm hearing? Please tell me, Zulay. Your dad called me and he told me about your intentions to go back to Sylvester. Yes. It's true. I'm I'm going back to him. What? Babe. I mean, are you trying to tell me? Despite the whole toxicity, you still want to go back to him. He has changed. He's a different person now. He's not the same person you used to know. Babe, narcissists do not change. They only change their strategy. And it is just a matter of time before he falls back to his originality. Why don't you get it? I mean, it's just a matter of time. Tina, I know you care about me so much. I know you love me like I was your own sister. But, but honestly, I can't do without Sly. I've tried to, to get over him, but it's not working. So I'm, I'm just going to give him another chance and see how things unfold. And if he falls back to his cruelty, Hmm? That will be the last straw. V, I am truly sorry. I want to genuinely, formally and properly apologize for everything that I have done. As a matter of fact, I, I will keep apologizing to you for the way that I treated you. I am truly, truly sorry. I hope that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. It's fine, I forgive you. Thank you. I, I, I hope you don't mind me asking, um, where's, where's Junior? Junior went to school. And uh, do you have an idea when he will come back so I can wait or something? I don't know.
It's my dress now, eh? Can I just show up at my house like this on the mouse now? Ah, uh, eh? I'm trying to work things out with my wife and my son. You can't just come and ruin everything for me. You, aren't you selfish right now? You want to go back to V and your son? How about me and your son? Are we not worthy enough of your love? Fine. Eh? I'll, I'll pay for child support. I'll, 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 I'll arrange everything. Eh? I'll do whatever it is you want. It's fine. How much do you even want it? Two million naira for a start. That's fine. I'll, 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 I'll transfer the money to you. When? Maybe mm. bye. Bye to you. Bye. Sly around. No, he, he went to work. Who are you? I'm his woman, and this is his son. What? What do you mean by... Sly and I had a son six years ago, and I've been begging him to be a part of our life, but he just wouldn't listen. See, right now, I'm tired, and I can't take it anymore. So please, can you talk to Sly for us? I can't believe this. Please, hold on. Hello, babe. Um, there was a lady here with your son waiting to see you. What? Hello? Sly, can you hear me? Are you still here? Hello? Sly? Is he on his way back? Come on. Oh, thank you. It's my bag. Do you mind helping me with my bag? I'm never have a clue. We're leaving this house. But why? You said you forgive daddy. I did. But your dad has hurt me again. Come, Junior, let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. No, it's John. No, it's Doc. Oh, that big one is Doc. Take that. Too. I'm not even picking coins. I'm gonna kill you now. It's like enjoying the show. Okay. I feel at home. Are you leaving? See, I'm wrong, I talk to you. Okay. Um, what are you doing here? What needs to be done? Where's my wife? Where's me? Um, 
She's gone. W what? I told her everything. <laughs> if you, if you ruin my marriage, Betty, I promise you that I will destroy you. V? 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 What are you still doing here? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Slay! You're hurting me! Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Go, go, go out of the house! I'm not going anywhere! This is your son and we're here to stay! You're not staying here! Out! Now! No, 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 no! Out! Out! So I just uh, I came to check if V is around. Sylvester, for your sake, let no harm come on my daughter. Because V left here since yesterday night. So pray that no evil befalls her. Because if you hurt her in any way, you have me to deal with. I'm sorry, sir. Now leave my house. I said leave my house! So where is Fee now? Huh? She, 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 she's not with him. She left her since last night. What is this like? What is this nonsense I'm hearing? I mean, I wasn't expecting to hear anything negative from you. At least not this soon. Is it, is it like you've become a devil who's never tired of doing evil? Bro, I didn't even know that she was pregnant. Okay? I don't know if she get better. I didn't tell you. You know, she just always comes to me with all these random things that she says all the time in the name of catching crews. So I thought it was just one of those things that she does. Besides, I don't even remember ever, you know, doing it unprotected with her. Come on, man. You know, see me, I know, I, know, I don't want to hurt V. At least, not anymore. Hey, hey, don't make it look like I know you. Do I even know you? Don't. Well, have you thought of a DNA? Like, it could be a means to confirm. Yeah, you're right. I, I should, um, I should, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Look, this is not me trying to clean up your mess. Okay? I'll just be hopeful that something positive comes out of this. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm hopeful too, honestly. I'm just... You're hopeful too. Same we'll do now. So you are a liar. A bloody, shameless liar. That's who you are, Betty. That child was not my own. You are sorry. <laughs> you are sorry. <laughs> oh my God, can, can you imagine this? You are sorry. You are sorry for what? For the destruction you've caused in my life? With my family. You are sorry. I swear to you, Betty, if I set my eyes on you, eh? With, like, you will regret ever getting to know me. It's like, calm down, calm down. You're telling me to calm down, eh? Eric, make her calm down. After all the destruction she has caused in my life, the, the damage, eh? I don't know where my wife is gone. I can't, I can't find her. Avi is not gone. 
Yeah, I know where she is. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. So what 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 do you mean? Like, are you expecting me to be apologetic now? Like, look, 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 look. I do not have a single apology to tender. I mean, I was, I was protecting the innocent girl from you. Care about her too much to allow you destroy her life. So, please don't give me that look. So, Eric, you, you've known where my wife has been this whole time. Listen. I'm sure that you heard the phone call. Bex's child is not my own. So where the hell is my wife, Eric? Well, I guess to start with, I should really congratulate you. I mean, this. Thank God. I'll talk to V. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to her. I will. I, I know. Well, I guess so. I know. I know this is my end well. Come on, take this look off your face. There should be a bottle of champagne here, right? Right? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I, I really, my mom treated you. I treated you so badly. I was so stupid. It's okay. Forgive me. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. I forgive you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 